everybody! Welcome back to Epic Beauty Fail. I'm Jessica. On today's video, I'm doing my very first Throwback Thursday video. And today, if you've seen in the title of the video, I'm going to be focusing on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Uh, this was actually the very first makeup video look I did, like makeup look video I did, was using this palette. I went back and double checked, but it was. So I was like, yeah, what am I going to use for my very first uh, what, uh, Throwback Thursday? It's going to be this one. <laughs> so I don't know if you saw in the close-up video there, uh, I, there are some, there are actually, actually some shades in here that I haven't even touched. I mean, I'm looking at this and it's like, whoa, wait a minute. What? Huh? Uh, like, I don't think I've used raw sienna, which is this one right here. It doesn't appear as though I've used Real Gar, which is this one here. It looks like Antique Bronze hasn't been touched, which is that one right there. Um, it looks like Venetian Red hasn't been touched, but I'm pretty certain I've used that shade, which is this one right here. Uh, I don't know if you could tell, but Tempera or Tempera and Love Letter are probably my two favorite shades in here. It uh, looks like Love Letter's been hit a little bit harder than even Tempera, Tempera, Tempera. Uh, definitely use Golden Ochre, Primavera, Warm Taupe. So, yeah. Never really liked some of these shades, but there are others that I haven't even used. So I think my goal for today's video is to use the shades, or at least as many of the shades as I can, that I haven't used. Stick to the shades that I'm not usually using from this palette. Um, it should be interesting. Because I'm looking at, like, some of these shades. Like, I'm looking at Realgar, and I'm like, what the heck am I going to use that one for? You know, it's orange. I don't normally wear oranges. I'm going to use some of the other ones as well. But I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to use the shades that I don't, I haven't used in here. So, let's go ahead and get going. First of all, what is on my face? I used some of my, some of my older favorites. I used the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. The Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid um, Shade 0.5. I really do like that foundation. I used its matching concealer, the Naked Skin Concealer. Um, I used two powders from Physician's Formula. This is the Trans... Um, correcting powder and this one is just the face powder so i used both of those as powders and then uh i used the kat von d shade and light palette this shade right here for my contour i used the tarte 12 hour amazonian clay blush in glisten which is that right there and then uh for my highlight i used the physician's formula butter highlighter in iridescence that shade right there and then i primed my eyes with the ulta beauty eyeshadow primer in nude matte so that is what is on my face right now uh, we're going to go ahead in with the modern renaissance palette and then i will put some lipstick and mascara on and maybe some eyeliner depending on how my my look turns out so all right i am going to first off start with tempera 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 whatever and just set my primer with that all right i think what i'm going to do next is go into that shade that i'm somewhat worried about real gar right here and real gar i don't know how it's pronounced but i'm going to use that orange shade and i'm going to go in with the same brush i'm going to go in with that shade in my crease just try to do it lightly see how this goes that is not as orange as I thought it was gonna be that's not bad all right I think what I'm gonna do next is go into I'm trying to see what other shades I haven't used yet uh, it doesn't appear as though I've used raw sienna which is this shade right here I'm going to put that in my crease as well. Well, that one is powdery. I'm going to put that in my crease as well, just to, to tone down the orange just a hair. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. Actually, it looks like it darkened it up a little bit. 
I think what I'm going to do next is go into Buon Fresco, which is like this purpley shade almost. It's like a, a very, very pale purple. And I'm going to actually pack that on my lid, the entirety of the lid. And then I'm going to go over that with another shade. So let me get this on first. Okay, then I'm going to go actually in with Venetian Red, which I haven't used yet, which is this one right here. And I'm actually going to keep that on the outer portion of my eyelid, but I am going to come about a third of the way in and blend that in with the crease and the Buon Fresco shade that is on the rest of my eyelid. All right, I'm gonna drag that Venetian Red on my lower lash line with the same brush, just whatever's left over. I'm not gonna put any more on it, but I'm just gonna do it really lightly along my lower lash line. I have a bunch of excess powder on my face, so I'm gonna brush that away. And that went away pretty easily. Okay, what else do I wanna use on here? Um, it doesn't appear as though I've used antique bronze, which is this shade here, but I'm not sure that that would look right with my look that I've got going on so far. It might darken it up just a little bit too much. Maybe what I'm going to do is I will just take a little bit of that antique bronze shade and just focus it on the outer corners of my eyes just a little bit, like right in here. And do I want to use any more of these? I think what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of Vermeer. I have definitely used this one before, but take a little bit of Vermeer on my finger and actually just put that on the inner third of my eye and into my inner corner. All right, I think that's what I'm going to go with. I am not disappointed in that. Okay, I'm going to put on some mascara and some lipstick, and I will be right back. All right, so my mascara, I'm using my little uh, Benefit Bad Gal Bang right here. It kind of got lost in my collection. That mascara is not too bad. Still not my favorite. I still like the Benefit Roller Lash but it's not bad. And then I did use this little Wonder Beauty stick and I put on the shade front row on my lips. There that is. And I probably could have thrown a winged liner on with this, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Let's be honest, I'm not gonna wing liner. All right, I'm gonna go call John and I'm gonna see what he thinks of this look. What kind of look is this? Though? So this is my first Throwback Thursday video where I'm revisiting an old uh, eyeshadow palette that I haven't tried in a while. Throwback Thursday? Throwback Thursday. Well, throw that throw that look right at me here, baby. All right. Throw it at me. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't realize how low this, this chair is. Ah, my chair is a little low. You don't have to move that one down. It's okay. Oh, okay. So what do you think? So it's... An orangish pink reds yeah 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 so this is the very first palette that I did a look with uh-huh back in 2016 I think it was I think what? it was 2016 let me let me double check it was no it was February of 2017 so about oh. a year and a half ago okay. was the first um, beauty look that I did and I used this palette so I am gonna actually go back and I will take a picture of what my look looked like in February 2017 and I'm gonna put it right in here between the two of us oh, okay. uh, just to do like a comparison of what I did a year and a half ago and what it looks like today now what i tried to stick to are shades that i had not used before 
Okay. So you can see, like, Love Letter there, I dug in pretty well. Tempera, mm -hmm. I've dug in pretty well. Primavera, I've dug in pretty well. Uh, but there is definitely some shades that I had not actually used in this palette. So that's what I kind of stuck to with oh, okay. this look, was trying to use shades that I hadn't used before. And, and I will say this. Um, although I've had this this palette for a year and a half, what is it? What does this actually say? It actually says six months on it is the is the uh, usage time for this. It works just the same. I don't feel like I had any problems blending it. I don't feel like it had any problems. There's no smell to it. Is there? It's is, just is fine. that a like a drugstore versus a high end? No, this is a high end palette. Oh, okay. Um, the 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 maker of the palette will do whatever they want to. I think a lot of it is that they just don't want. They, they don't want to have like a lawsuit if somebody gets like an eye right. infection or something like that. So, right. yeah. So what do you think? How did I do? I used a bunch of different shades on my lids lids today. I so... can see that because there's a lot of different color going on. Yeah. Now you did sort of like a darker outer eye. Yes, I did. Oh, baby. So you did a darker outer eye and a lighter inner eye. I did. Yes. Yes. Now there's no sparkle or anything weird in the, the, the like, just a wee little bit. I just touched it with my, tapped it with my finger. Okay, well, that's why I can't see it. Yeah. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's just dust on the glasses. Um, <laughs> I think you okay. did, I think you did a, a good job layering it. Now, why didn't you do any eyeliner, or did you? I did not do any eyeliner, no. Okay. I actually just said before I grabbed you to come in, come up here, was uh, I could easily put a winged liner with this look, and but I'm not going to because I'm not good at winged liner. Okay. I'm just not good at it. I know. So it's okay. Yeah. You're all right. All right. I still love you. Thank you. You're welcome. I like the, I mean, you the, think eye it looks look, good? the eye look looks nice. All right. I mean, it's definitely, I, but to me, I think if you, eyeliner would set it up. It would make it more dramatic. Yes. For and sure. Let's be honest. You like dramatics. I'm into the drama, baby. All right. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already and you would like to be, please hit that red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little bell to notify you when I do upload new videos. And if you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below. We haven't gone back to look at our my original look to see what it looks like. So let me know what your thoughts are in my original look from a year and a half ago and what I, what I was able to do today. And uh, also let me know if there's any palettes you guys would like to see. My thinking is, is that next week I'm going to use the second palette that I did a year and a half ago. Uh, Cause I'm actually looking down at my computer screen right below the camera and um, I can already see the, the palette that was my second makeup video. So I'm thinking about doing that one for next Tuesday, but let me know in the comment section down below what palettes uh, you would like me to, uh, to do a throwback Thursday on. So I'm not going to go in order, obviously of, of all of my palettes, but that I've used in this channel, but um, I figured these two were, were close back to back. Uh, and there's, there's the third one right there. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. But anyhow, let me know in the comment section down below if there's any uh, palettes that you would like me to revisit. And I think using the shades that I haven't used a lot of um, definitely made it a little bit more difficult for me, a little bit more challenging, because obviously those aren't the ones that I naturally gravitate to. So if those shades aren't ones I naturally gravitate to, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me to do a look with because I'm, it's not one that I'm, I would normally right. say, let's do that one. So... Yeah. Yeah. And you're more likely to end up with a look I like. Or just a different look. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye!